Hey everyone, what's the tapping? Get it? Happening, tapping, what's the tapping? Oh, I'm so cool. Now, today's video, I thought I'll answer as many questions as I can within 10 minutes. So, I thought it'd be a, an interesting video. So, let's crack on. Start the timer. <laughs> So how can, <laughs> how can I get fast to cap without spending money? Uh, how do you get to end cap as, as, without spending money? Play as much as you possibly can, um, just basically prestige loads. What is the best build? It depends in what level you are. Beginning will be clanship build and mid to late game will be um, heavy strike, shadow clone or clanship, it depends. How do you prestige? Oh, interesting. So you prestige by going to your first tab, clicking on the big prestige button, and then you press the bottom button there, prestige. Uh, how do you leave a clan? Another good one as well. So you click on your clan icon. You've got to be in the clan first. Make sure you're in the clan. Go to info. Then you go to clan info, and it's at the bottom there, bottom right, leave clan. Uh, what is the best pet? It depends. Uh, at, the beginning, oh, at the beginning of the game, you should do all, all damage, all gold, fluffers, and then kit. Um, but depending on what level you, you what, what build and what level you are, it could be, for example, all hero damage. Uh, but if it's less than level 100, it could be the lesser one due to passive damage. Uh, you could use a uh, pet optimizer as well from the Tap Titan 2 Competition website, link below. What equipment set should I get? Uh, so the top four build uh, equipment sets you should get when you first start playing a game should be uh, Immaculate Arbiter, Ancient Warrior Mythic Set, Noble Fencer, and Mechanized Sword. I'll recommend in that, in that um, order. And that's if you're just playing the game, later game, uh, any. Uh, what max stage is your son's account in Tap Titans 2? My son doesn't play Tap Titans 2. He plays Minecraft. That's all he does, Minecraft all day. What level should I have my BOS? Now, this is a bit of a different one because of the strats have changed. So uh, relics counts towards your algorithm and tournament. So as long as it's not low, lower than 4%, it's fine. I still have mine above 30 40%, and some other people still have it even higher. It's down to you. I personally have about 30 40 minimum um, before I start. What's the best artifacts? Uh, Books of Shadows, that is God tier level. So the best artifact in game is Books of Shadows, is a relic multiplier, more relics gives you more power. Simple. Have you have, uh, other guides to Abyssal tournaments? I don't even know what's for which rules best build. Yes, I did a video on Abyssal tournaments, but basically it's just highlighting uh, Lemmy's Abyssal guide that's on Reddit. So Lemmy Lama, has done a abyssal abyssal guide kind of breakdown and some tips. It's a Reddit post. Uh, let me updates regularly, so I will link it in the description below. When should I prestige for the second time? I'm like level 200 now, and also, do you have a favorite thing you do as low level players? So when you should prestige, basically when it slows down. So if it's taking more than a minute to kill a boss, definitely prestige. If you used all your talents, so all your skills, um, I think they're called talents now. Uh, spells, sorry. If you use all your spells, which are these, so once they're all activated, oh, I'm clicking too many things. So you activate all these. Once these are all maxed and all used, if you can't push anymore when they've all run out, it's probably time to prestige. Uh, you've got, got to make sure you use the best use of your time to prestige. For example, if it takes you half an hour to get to your max stage, but then another 20 minutes to push 10 stages, you could have done another run by then, so it's a waste of time. So don't spend too long pushing for minimal stages. It's all about uh, prestige versus your runtime gain. So I would say if it takes more than a minute to kill a boss, prestige. Um, Oh, um, what's your favourite thing to do as a low-level player? Uh, join tournaments, get first place, but then change my player name to troll the person. So it's like, you can't catch me, or loser, or something like that, because I'm sad. What's your clan code? Z3MQY. Is there a way to consistently get medals above silver? So, so you're talking about badge events. That's 8% for badge event. Let's click on it to make sure. I believe so. Yeah, so silver is 8%. 8% um, is very low. If you just do your, you know, get high in tournaments and do your daily login daily and get your tickets, um, that gives you points and do raiding. Just generally playing, logging in, do your dailies each day would get you enough to get 80%. It's very easy. Just, do, just log in every day, spend half an hour doing one run, collecting all your dailies and doing your raids. That will be enough. 
Um, how can I increase my mana? There's loads of ways to increase it. So fluffers, there's artifacts. You can do a uh, limit break, which is a skill in the sorcerer tree. Um, I have got a full video explaining about every way to increase your mana and regen. I'll link that in the description below. Just watch that video. Is there a way to consist? Uh, what's the best way to get shards? Best way to get shards will be winning first place in the shards tournament. Um, that I think is about 110 to 150 shards, depending on your max stage. Um, but that will be the quickest. You also get shards for getting stage four in your solos and also daily logins. One of your achievements is get that as well. Um, plus, you can get it from Titan Chest. But the most a free to play and the most you get mount in one go would be from shards tournaments to try to save your your potential or push for first place shards um what's your fave build currently because on my main account my 106,000 is heavenly strike because i can use it to farm the first part and push the second parts as best of both worlds so right now heavenly strike push build is my favorite build if you could spend a thousand pounds oh, sorry a hundred pounds on tap titans 2 what would you spend it on okay if, if I was just starting the game, I'll spend uh, £100 on probably diamonds, on Titan Chest if they're on offer, and it will be for either Shards or Dust, and uh, the £100 get me VIP straight away, which means I skip ads, so I'll do uh, Clan Ship Build, probably Ferry straight off the bat, but would be getting um, either extra Dust or Shards so I can get more sets, and then also use... Uh, the diamonds to get more pets and stuff like that at the beginning of the game. That's if I was a beginner player. Uh, how can you retire from tournament? Oh, interesting. You, well, you should never retire from tournament, but basically when you start a tournament, once you're in it, there's when you click on the tournament icon, which is this one, at the bottom, you'll have a big red retire button on it there, but you should never retire from tournament because um, you could potentially lose out on pushing and getting more rewards anyway. Um, and also, do you know how to increase mana capacity? Uh, yes, again, watch my mana guy video. There's loads of ways to increase mana capacity. The quickest way would be limit break, which is a skill. What is a wider decision using dust to buy raid cards or bank dust and upgrade raid cards? So buying or upgrading. Now, I would go upgrading first. Um, it's basically a bit of both, but I'll say 70 to 30. So 70 to upgrade and 30 to buy new cards. Because when you do a lot of raids, you accumulate cards, but especially from solo quest as well. So if you're doing raid raiding and solo quest, you accumulate cards anyway. Um, but upgrading them costs more. Normally it does. So I'll save it for upgrading um, so whenever cards become available to upgrade, upgrade first. So my MS is 2,350. I have 61 skill points. Any advice or build? Uh, yep, yeah, you're a beginner, so do clan ship build per armor das. And my advice would be a follow a build guide, use an artifact optimizer, join a higher level clan. Uh, I'm new to the game. Can you help? Yes, I can. Uh, how can you? How do you upgrade artifacts? So you prestige, you gain relics. Relics is the main currency of the game, and you get new artifacts. But there's a button up there. I haven't got any more because I've got all the artifacts. But you click on that. If it's highlighted, you have enough relics. If it hasn't, you've got to do more runs and prestige some more. Once you've got enough relics, you click on it, and it randomly selects you an artifact, and hopefully you can get books shadows. Uh, where am I from? I'm from Britain. Good old Britain, UK, down south. Uh, how many shards do I need for Mythic set? It's 700 shards for complete Mythic set. How do you play on PC? I use an emulator called Bluestacks. Just Google Bluestacks, you can download it. Is it safe to use Order Clicker and Tap Titans? I would not recommend it um, because you could get teapotted, which basically stops you from entering tournaments and, and um, playing pretty much. So there's no point. And besides, it's after like uh, one or two days, tap uh, tap damage is does hardly anything for you most of it is in war cry hero damage and clan ship damage stuff like that so mostly mostly hero damage so your tap damage is very little to none so using auto clicker is pretty much pointless there's no point um there's no point worth the band what is the maximum card level and will you ever reach it i don't know uh let me did a stream um uh, recently and i swear the, the max cards were like between like I think 40 or 50, 50 max cards. Now he's had a dev account, which is all maxed out. So I don't know, 50 cards were the limit. I'm currently between level 20 and 25. So I'm not too sure if card levels 50 is max or that's just his dev account. Um, so I'm, I don't know the answer for that to be sure. Um, how many years do you think Tap Titan 2 will last? Well, it's still strong in the update all the time. It's still got a strong fan base. So I would reckon another two years minimum before they even think about shutting it down. How to get first place in tournaments? Uh, watch my videos, there's a lot of guides. Just search tournaments in my playlist and there's gonna be at least like four or five videos about it. Uh, but the main one would be stacking stuff up. So 
and make sure you optimize your fall in the build artifact optimizer you're in a good clan um, and then obviously save your, your shards and your diamonds you can buy stuff in tournament and then push in as much as you can uh, uh what which is better portal or snap i'll go portal i'll go for splash damage any day what should i spend my diamonds on if you're a beginner player i would both mostly buy pets uh, all damage all gold fluffers and kits um, if they're not in the shop anything else but pets will help a lot at the beginning of the game is it worth to swap the heavy strike build after 1k skill points you're currently at clan ship if you it depends it, i did a video about um change build when to change build i'll link that below as well it depends if you're on your play style and also if you're ready if you've got enough passive and you've got the angelic guardian set um if you've got enough power because heavy strikes very pushing builds so you will be actively tapping it if you're a busy person you've got work and everything maybe not so watch that video to see if it's right for you how big is it how big is the chance that they add two more heroes I don't know. They haven't mentioned anything about adding more heroes. And because they've used the same um, kind of a coding for the last five years, it's hard to change the original coding for the heroes than it is now. So adding two more heroes to algorithm to the metrics is a lot harder. So I doubt they add two more heroes. They'll probably do artifacts change and rechange building first before heroes. Um, no news on it, so I wouldn't. Rec I wouldn't. I doubt it'd be this year, to be honest. But it's just my opinion. How many skill points max out, max out skill tree? I'm not too sure. I got three and a half thousand. I did see uh, Lemmy's build on stream, with, which which was all maxed out, and I think that was what ten to twelve thousand. I can't remember the exact one. If anyone remembers that the stream, please leave a comment below. But I think it was between ten and twelve thousand. Um, how do I find good clans? Best place to look is Tap Titan's official Discord server, and they've got a recruitment channel. I've also got one as well, but they've got more people in it. Um, so join the official Discord, and best place to search there is a recruitment channel. And is it worth to get VIP if you're serious about the game and you can afford it, or if you're not the um, uh, bill payer the answer bill payers permission first but if you can afford uh the hundred pounds uh to get it then i'll say yes because it skips all the adverts you do get reductions and if you want to pay the game for you know many months many years um myself i've done four and a half years it, it is worth the investment uh when do i stream thanks for asking that question um I'm, thank you for putting it in there i i promise it wasn't me i stream every wednesdays and sundays on youtube and twitch G, uh, 8 p.m gmt time and how do i subscribe thank you for that awesome question uh yeah i swear it wasn't me uh you subscribe by hitting the button below or if it's on your phone whether it's screen and hit notification for all the latest news that is it i have no idea if i've made it in time <laughs> i probably made it under or over but those are my i asked you what questions you want to hear those are the mess the basically first ones that came up thank you so much it was a fun one it was a short one it was a good one you're a good one too by smashing that subscribe button so thank you again and i'll see you in the next video take care bye